All right, so coming back here, we have uh, theorem one, which is compound interest. And so with that, we have A is equal to P times one plus I to the N. Now I is gonna be the rate per compounding period. And so really what that is, is going to be R divided by M. So I is that R over M. So if we write that back how it used to be. Now N is the total number of compounding periods. Well, how do you get that? Well, that's gonna be our M, which is the number of down here, times t. And so that's what n is going to be. So when you actually put it all back together again, you're going to get a is equal to p times 1 plus r over m to the m times t. Now, some people use n instead of m, so don't get confused if they do that. And, and so you know, depending on what book you're reading, what lecture you're watching, they're going to use different things. Sometimes I'll switch back to n, but uh, for, for how it's treated in this book, they're using the M here, okay? All right, so find the amount to which $1,500 will grow at simple interest of 6.75% for 10 years. All right, so simple interest, that one's just going to be A is equal to P times 1 plus RT. Well, A is equal to what? Well, principal, 1,500 times 1 plus R, 0 0.0675 times T, which is 10, and then we just have to multiply that out and add it together. So let's go to our calculator. So we have uh, the 1500 times one plus, and we had 0 0.0675 times 10, and that gives us 251250. So our future value is going to be 2512.50. So when we compounding uh, with just simple interest, that is going to be our value. Now, what about if we want to uh, do uh, quarterly instead of you know simple interest? So that's going to compound it multiple times per year. And so we should hopefully get a bigger value. So in this case, we're going to have to use A is equal to the P times 1 plus uh, rate over M to the M times T. And so that's going to be 1500 times 1 plus our rate again is 0 0.0675 M quarterly. That means it's going to be 4. And then we have 4 times, and then it's going to be times 10. And so now this time we get, well, well let's go back over here. So we have 1500 times. 1 plus 0 0.0675 divided by 4 raised to the power of 4 times 10. And we get 2929.50 uh, if we round it to the nearest penny. So here we get 2929.50. And as you can see, before we got 2512. Now we got 29.29, and that's just by adding it uh, quarterly, okay? What about if we do it for daily? Now this time we're gonna assume 365 days per year, okay? So this is kind of a, the, the kind of the standard. So let's look at this one. Well, now we're gonna just have to type in A is equal to what? Well, we're doing 1500 times one plus our rate 0 0.0675. And now we're going to do it 365 times. So that's going to go down here for M. And it's going to be 365 times times 10 years. Okay. So now let's figure out what we get. And so we're going to have 1,500 times 1 plus 0 0.0675 uh, divided by 365 to 365 times 10. I type everything right, I think so. Now we get 2945.87. So you can see that's even more than that. So this is simple, this is quarterly, this is daily. So now let's write that one down. So that gave us 2945.87. And again, that assumes that 365 days per year. Now let's assume 360 days a year, okay? So this one, we're gonna do the same thing as the last one, A is equal to, and then we have 1500 times one plus 0 0.0675. Now we're doing 360 days per year. 
So we take 360 times 10 instead. And so that is equal to, now if we, oops. Now if we do a second enter and we go back here, we can change that to 360 and we can change that to 360 and we get 245.86, okay? So that one we get 2945.86. So with that five extra days, we got an extra whole penny there. So that's kind of something to notice there. You know, we got 87 with 365 days and 86 with 360 days. Okay, so let's stop there and we'll come back and look at some others in a little bit.